Sound good? Okay. I'm going to go ahead and three, two, one. Welcome to episode three of Topic Thunder Podcast. I'm Dania. This is my co host, Patrick. Hey, hey. I'm so glad to have you back. I, I'm glad to be back too. I had to be like away for a while. I missed you. You, yeah. um, where were you? You missed the Max Price episode. We yeah. love Max. He's a friend of the show. Um, where did you have to go? We had to go up to uh, see my mom in Illinois. Oh, she okay. had some kind of medical procedure. She had a, a hip replacement. Okay. So well. to see her is all exciting uh, stuff. Uh, <laughs> yes. And, and see, the bad thing is that I think I'm about sorry. It. <laughs> sorry. Well, and it might be it might be boring to you, but the thing is, like, I think of like te- you know what twenty five years from now, I'm going to have the same problem. So. Uh, yes, I, you are. Yeah. I already have problems with my knees. My mom had knee replacement, so. I'm, I'm well, that's next, dude. Yeah, yeah. Where, is this how we're starting? Uh, yeah. yeah, knee replacement. All right. it's, it's ailments. It's okay, right. we've it's already lost, we're we've lost old, every we're single old. viewer. Let's talk about my acid reflux. <laughs> oh, no. Um, oh, no. Let's no. talk about those pills I take to oh, get my gosh. I take too the boner to hit today. the table. <laughs> oh, boy, there we go. There we go. There, there go. it is. Yeah. Starting. We're bringing it full circle. I mean, there right it is. They work better when you crush them and snort them. There you go. Hey, everybody. So we're just jumping right in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah we are. It's we a have family program. these yeah. uh, two freaking awesome dudes, and that's the last time you're ever going to hear me say that. <laughs> First don't and last. Say that again. I'm kidding. They are from the band And They Rise. This is relatively a brand new band. Relatively. Mm-hmm. Um, I know that I think we're going to get more of the story on that, but this is uh, Scott Davis and Matthias Levitt. Yes. Did I pronounce that? You right? did. You Check nailed it. Me out. Both you know of what? them. I guarantee you, you cannot pronounce my first and last name right. D- fuck. See? Okay. Dania, 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 or Dania? Dan. Dania. Dania. Yeah. yeah. Ar- Artismi? Artismi? Artemisi. Artemisi. Okay. Yes. Thanks for Close. doing your homework. I tried. Awesome. I tried. So, um, <laughs> no. Okay. So I wanted to have you guys on. I um, I reached out to you, Scott, when I saw your brand new music video which is for the um i guess the first release from your new album um it's not the first release but it's uh the first song that we've done a video for oh yeah. okay a, a real video a real one a real video yeah. it, and it it's legitimately a real video oh, i was yeah. i was pretty impressed that it wasn't you know it wasn't some kind of basement thrown together thank you for having low expectations <laughs> i have you know what uh no expectations Therefore, I have no disappointment. It rhymes with love. That's, that's the way to live through life. Absolutely. absolutely. No regrets. Yeah, let it go. No Just regrets. let it go. No regrets. <laughs> no regrets. Just get that tattooed on. Oh, yeah. yeah. So, um, you had mentioned that you're a relatively new band. Um, there's a little story behind that. Yeah. What is that story? Uh, me and Matthias here started writing and recording music in 2006. Yeah, and, yeah. Uh, I think yeah. we figured that out recently, actually. I'm trying to sit here and actually yeah. do the math. Yeah, but that's, anyway. it's way yeah. too fucking. Yeah, long. it's a while ago. It's about, and, uh, what, 15 years ago? Yeah. Okay, thank yeah. you. And we, uh, thankfully, we there's one actually, math major in here. Right. <laughs> Not really. We didn't. Uh, we didn't release any music until last year. Well, why did it take so long? Well. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. We there, were on the there, first there, Midwest, there. second Midwest yeah. music explosion. So the first single we ever oh, wow, wrote, I song. That. We, you remember those two compilation CDs? That, yeah. Uh, Scott. Scott Gherkin yeah. produced yeah. my original band at, at one point Rust and Shine was on the first one and then we started touring with Modern Day Zero um, we, where you were Modern Day Zero then right yeah Modern Day Zero and then they went to like three different names yeah. um, Mesh Mesh STL Mesh, yeah Modern yeah. Day Zero yeah and then <laughs> right <laughs> yeah there was how do you that, spell that yeah. Yeah. there was that time it's P-L 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 there, there's a T in there right yeah, it ends yeah. it, th- that's the last letter oh, okay, cool. yeah yep. Yeah. Sometimes there's a D T. The D is silent. Um, but we were on that first compilation to get a CD together. We started touring together. Realized we liked a lot of the same stuff. We started writing. Um, really, while he was in MDZ and I was still in Rust and Shine, and I Rust and Shine broke up. Blake joined Bonnie Zero, which is our drummer, and Andy Rise. It's just a weird, constant circle. Yeah, of the same I've type I've of said people. it before. The St. Louis music scene is very incestual. A hundred percent. Right. One million percent. Right. Accurate. Right. Everybody is connected in some way, shape, or form. Um, and, and I mean, I can even bring it full circle for you. I don't know about said, uh, honey tribe. Rusted shine. Rusted shine. Okay. Honey tribe. My other actually, name is Almond. 
I was just gonna say, Honey Tribe I, uh, is, a, is a band that a good friend of mine used to be in, and I'm sorry, Rusted Shine. Yeah. Um, is that a Rusted Root cover band? It I'm was sorry. not. I it's, love Rusted Root. That's like the third time I've heard that. But it's really? been, it's been oh, like that's not a twenty movie. something years since yeah. that. Came. No, okay. I. Uh, it was not. It was very a much heavier band than Rusted Root. I, right. I would say that. Um, so it's Send Me on My Way uh, in metal. On one hundred percent. Sweet. One hundred percent. Okay, so let me bring this full circle. You guys, um, I think it was, I don't know, it may have been Mesh, Mesh STL, and Modern Day Zero that were all on Point Essential. Uh, I, I don't think Modern Day Zero was on Point Essential. Okay. I don't think. I, I'm pretty sure that that series had ended by okay. that point. Okay. But... And the point um, is... Head Trip was. Yeah. Head Trip? Head Trip Window. His yeah. band before that. That's totally. how the funny story how we met and actually realized we had a lot in common was I told him like I you were in Head Trip Window that was a band that I listened to in high school and oh, wow. did learned you, did a lot you of fanboy on him I, and I, now you guys are friends. No, we actually it was we were double booked or doing an open mic thing when Tom West was holding uh, oh, rest in peace um, was hosting um, uh, like an open jam at on Main Street somewhere. And we went to the back and said, hey, you were in Head Trip. And he goes, yeah. And he goes, play that abuse song. And he played that song. And I sang it. And he's like, you should come sing with on, on stage with nice. me. And I'm like, okay, cool. And that's nice. literally how our career, I think, started So if together. I sing for you right now and you like it, I mean, can I join your band? Because your band's yeah. really freaking cool. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Do I not get to say anything? Who's Wait, who's the bass player? <laughs> That would be me. That's you. Well, I mean, I guess Unless I could have figured can, that can, out by process of elimination. Can you play, yeah. can you play bass? I, uh, yes, oh. that's why I asked. Can you sing? <laughs> uh, then I don't need to yeah. be here. Then you don't have to Yeah, be I'll just, I'll, I'll, I'll see you later. Yeah, uh, settle the tab on your way out. Can't, can't, yeah. It's, yeah, it's, go it's ahead can and they grab rise. That. Could they rise? Ah! <laughs> 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 um, so long. He's got them boner pills. <laughs> so what took see. you so long to finally get going? I mean, you said you got together uh, in 2006. Yeah. Wait, yeah. were you and they rise in 2006, or, uh, or I guess kinda, that was the effort. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Well, we we um we for a very brief period we had um it was me, Matthias, and Blake, and we had uh, a guy named Dan Chandler as a singer. Um, he was in Evans Blue and, and a few other projects. Um, uh, he was uh, um, Fight or Flight with uh, Dan Donigan from Disturbed. Dan and Mike from Disturbed, he was the singer in that as well. Um, so he was, uh, prior to him joining Evans Blue, we had a, a band, we called it And They Rise, um, and the first and only show that we've ever played was Point Fest yeah. one year. Do you remember uh, which one? Or what year? 2008? That sounds about Ish. right, yeah. I yeah. would have been there. Yeah. yeah. We were on one of the side stages. Yeah. There's, there's it was awesome. There's yeah. Videos, yeah, there's a couple of videos floating around YouTube. It's it's good nostalgic. Yeah. It's, uh, Dan. I was a lace thinner and way younger. Dan, um, Dan had the opportunity to go join Evans Blue. He did that. And then we, I mean, it took a little bit of a, a break. Not really, though. And we just kept writing and kind of doing our own thing. And um, we just kept writing and recording and writing and recording and writing and recording. And I don't know. We, we, we would take little breaks here and there and then go back and be like let's let's write some more stuff or we just have more ideas and i don't know lo and behold man 2020 we're like we should probably release some of this you stuff. probably yeah. had a little bit of time to work on that yeah, a little bit. yeah. Slightly. We, had a, we had a catalog of music right yeah 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 it was sure. kind of an itch that both of us needed to scratch to move on with our lives it's there yes and 20 i 20 think... something songs or more and it's like oh uh, why did we do this if we weren't planning on putting it out that's that's great and you know what I think that um, that would be one of the silver linings of the pandemic is actually being able to yeah. center yourself you're forced to do it yeah and then you, you have a lot of realizations and you know a lot of ideas come to mind uh, this podcast came to mind you know I yeah. and I mean I can't sit still anyway I mean <laughs> I don't know if you know all the projects I'm involved in I'm not gonna get into them here we don't have enough time but um, I think that was the silver lining of the pandemic. So I'm glad that you guys had that yeah. chance to do that. Um, well, practical perspective, he was home. You know, you, for someone that tours oh, right. for a living, you know, like yes. having the time to rehearse, write a lot, record a lot, do, you know, kind of get that itch like out there and practice, you know, yeah. like so playing the stuff. When, um, and I'm sure that the people that don't know you, because I know that, I mean, 
you guys are you you've been here forever you guys mm -hmm. have a lot of friends a lot of fans um some people don't know the capacity in which you toured and um so tell me some of the, just give me some of the bands give me how long you did it um <clears throat> and you were guitar tech, tech yeah okay chronologically um cavo was the, okay. first, was the first band I went out with as a guitar tech. Uh, and then Guns N' Roses, um, Alice in Chains, uh, System of a Down, 30 Seconds to Mars, oh. Seven Dust was in there, um, a short stint with Sick Puppies, and then, and then let's see, Lifehouse, Disturbed, Daughtry, um, Smashing Pumpkins, Royal Blood. Oh, and, Royal Blood. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Name drop. Name drop, name <laughs> you know what though I it, That's hell you know what resume. wow yeah. no yeah. seriously that that was impressive that was a long list and and you even gave it gave it to me chronologically I'm yeah. sure he probably most that before he can yeah. um, <laughs> knowing Scott no um wow yeah I saw Royal Blood open for the Foo Fighters back at Riverport I can't remember uh, within the last 10 years maybe I uh, did not know they were two-piece I wasn't that familiar with them and holy shit yeah, they're great. Yeah. Wow. Great. Well, how stressful is it to be a guitar tech? Um, it depends on who you're tucking for. <laughs> Uh-oh, war stories? Give me a nightmare. Give me a nightmare. Yeah. No Come names? On. No names or names? Uh, you you know, can give us hints. I mean, you know, I'll, I'll say it's it gets easier the longer that you're out there and that you do it. You of know? course, you know? as anything does. Sure. Yeah. Um, but everybody's got their quirks. How about, how about we talk about who is fun and great to work with. Let's, like, let's do that. Do that. Yeah, yeah. I, like sure. that I like that idea. Okay, so <laughs> so Royal Blood, incredible guys uh, to tour with and um, just fun to hang with, good people. Uh, Disturbed, great people, great uh, great hang. Uh, they treat everyone very well. Um, uh, Allison Chains was a lot of fun. Um, Can I ask about one da specific? Daughtry, uh, the guys in Daughtry are amazing. They're great. Jared Leto. So, like so I that said, was a job. Um, I was very grateful to have uh, be employed at that time. Yes. <laughs> yeah, that was. I was yeah. grateful. To, I'm always grateful to be employed. Absolutely, for sure. Yeah. I mean, I can talk about you know my first job in radio. I will not name the operations manager that traumatized me, Alan Fee. And <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. So no, but yeah, totally cool. And yeah, and it's crazy that I just met you probably I mean it's been less than a year and I felt like an idiot having worked at the point as long as I did and you know have and um, I kind of felt like an idiot when I was like you know Will was like this is Scott Davis you don't know who that is and I'm like <laughs> do you like, say it just like he that? did exactly yeah. like that and I was like oh my god uh, should I and he said mesh and I was like oh I have a couple stories but that's for another time by um, the way Will, Will's real name is Phineas Q Turdthorpe yeah. I knew Just that actually okay, yeah in, in my phone as Phineas PQT. Q Turdthorpe yeah. and I love Phineas saying Siri call Phineas Q Turdthorpe she's like calling Phineas Q Turdthorpe <laughs> Turdthorpe yeah, I know that this, this is this is really kind of a tired love joke um, and and actually it was Real, it was realistic, but um, no, I used to get Us Magazine. Mm. I don't know if you remember oh, that publication. Yeah. Us, and um, uh, it was delivered to Turd Ferguson, and that <laughs> was yeah. I was Turd Ferguson for about like almost ten years. I used to get Us Magazine too, but it had an H and a Tealer in front and after. Oh yeah, this yeah. Is very similar. That was that covered was covered up and all that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that was just another edition. You know, yeah. look, back yeah. before you needed the pills. Right. Yeah. yeah. Got it. Yeah. 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 Thank God. But for I'm pills, trying to man. think, as far as being a guitar tech, how stressful it is, because every night someone has paid a lot of money to go see whoever it is, right? You Especially have to make that at Guns N' Roses. Yeah. Like you have to make sure that you're on point every single night. Yeah. You yeah. know. And I mean, you know, hopefully. 99% of the time you are. I mean, everybody's human. Yeah. You know, so, and, and, and equipment is equipment. Things, unforeseeable things can happen sometimes, but um, every situation is different. Every, uh, 
you know, workload is different every, um, you know, every, every, every time it's different, you know what I mean? So there's, there's some like, I work for a band right now called the Disco Biscuits, uh, a band, jam band out of Philly that um, are, have been doing shows, the first band I've worked for. Uh, I did one live stream with Daughtry and then uh, I've been doing these weekend jaunts with the Disco Biscuits. And, um, you know, it's, it's, I mean, it's, it's, it's just like, you know, it's cool, man. It's like, it's easy. Yeah. It's and, and you know what, with regard to what you just said, he was not the first one that they looked at. I'm sure he was pulled out of a pool of very talented sure. people. I'm, I'm, and I'm top 500 in my field. He is top 500. <laughs> I, 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 honestly, I'm probably top 500 in my field, too. But the He was my is, mentor at KMOV. But the thing is... I got my sights on 499. <laughs> <laughs> Good for you. But the thing is, no matter how great you are, you can still screw up. You can still have a bad day. Yeah. Everyone does, man. Absolutely. Yeah. Everyone but does. For, for, for perspective, though, do you not even think about it when you go out there and you, you tech? Or I mean, do like, you, you know, like it, meticulously try and make sure everything's every, right? Every, well, yeah. I mean, obviously, yeah. you, you, I would hope that in everything that you do in life that you try to make sure it's meticulously right. right. You know, um, I would say that every, pretty much every guitar tech that I know still gets, you know, like the, the that pre-show little, like, you know, it's not overwhelming, but like this mild. No, like, it's a like pressure. The, it's, 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 it's an excitement, excitement it's adrenaline. An innovation you, know. you shouldn't be doing it. Yeah. Right, but I mean, yeah, you're not like freaking out. I mean, I've done it. I've been doing it for 12 years or so now. So it's like. You should still get nervous though, There's right? still a rush. Well, you're, you're always like, okay, let's do this. Let's yeah. go. And, yeah. you know, let's. And, and as soon as the band's out there and they hit and it's like they're going, and you're like, Cool. Yeah, you know. music is a totally different vibe. Well, it's kind of like playing then. gigs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, know, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you have a little bit of butterflies from time to time for a big show or something you yeah. really, really rehearsed. But at the end of the day, I rehearsed it. Like it's just. Yeah. And you happens. know what? With that said, that yeah. is their art. With us, when we were writing news and we would yeah. produce our newscasts or whatever, there's a lot of pressure. Yeah, you got to get all that shit right. You do. And, um, get to make it sing, so to speak. And yeah. this is live, their live art radio. And, you know, I mean, it's the same sort of live, pressure, yeah. man. It's, it's yeah. It's there's no you can't take, go back. Yeah, there's no take backs. There's no take backs. That's like, true. You know. So, so when you what about when you do a live performance and it's recorded? Um, I mean, you just have to assume that every performance you've recorded or what nowadays? Well, so like the, the band I work for uh, right now uh, with the disco business, like every single one of their shows is live streamed yeah. on on YouTube. For free, and they have thousands of fans watching every show. They have a huge fan base. I didn't know much about the band before I started working for them. Yeah, but they've been around right. twenty some odd years, and they have, they've got a big, big following. That's like you see a lot of the same faces in every city, uh, you know. So they've got a lot of fans at home that watch these shows, and it's all live stream, you know. So it's it's like, you know, you got the fans there, but it's it's on the internet, and it stays on the internet, you uh -huh. know. It's uh, you know. Fine. But at the same time, when you're with the same band, and they are playing, you know, they're playing their music it becomes a well-oiled machine i'm assuming um uh, yeah i mean yeah yeah i Pretty mean it, i know it's relative yeah but um uh, yeah it's not like <laughs> producing a different newscast every right uh, sure. yeah. right no sure. there's there's some things that are to be expected right sure and absolutely. then in turn you know that you when you're working with someone on stage you can trust the hell out of them right yeah. Yeah. i mean matthias what's that that like you know, standing next to—I mean, playing with him and Blake, for instance, I take for granted. Like I've done—I've done the cover scene for a long time. I you take him for granted. Good. Okay. You, you do kind of take people for granted because you—you you understand. Like I know he's going to hit that note, or I know mm -hmm. I know he's going to come in at the right time. And when he doesn't, we'll just stare at each other and say, "What the fuck did you do?" <laughs> right, right. Well, you don't even have you know. to say it. You know, you just, no. it's just the eye. There, you there's just, there's yeah. this look, and, and and Blake will usually throw something at me if he knows I'm looking at him. Like, and, and most of the time, I just do it. Have you ever on stage? Have you I've ever never, fist fighted? Well, we've only fighted. Had, we've only had uh, one one show. We've <laughs> had, but we've had cover gigs before. Like, oh, yeah, I'll no, count you all guys have played together, together for years, we absolutely though, right? Yeah, absolutely. So, have you ever fought? No, no fist fights oh, we actually, between oh, us. <laughs> almost one time here in Diamond oh, Music. It wasn't me, though. That was, Wait, that was, were you that just here right? as a patron, or were you playing? No, we, yeah, the three of us. Cunning said, stunts? I was no, hanging no. out. Oh. Yeah, we were. We, we all just came here. Like, okay. Just to, yeah. Oh. Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, boy. We had been somewhere else and had way too much stuff. too much to drink and uh we got here and i don't know what happened he was like i'm not feeling what i'm leaving and we're like you can we curse yeah. yes yes i've said Absolutely. it many many times yes. sorry we're like you fucking pussy you know and uh to who to me guys, oh okay because he was gonna leave but we didn't, oh, right. we didn't know he was gonna leave he like it kind of it kind of 
as soon as he got here, he's like, yeah, I'm going. Anyways, it got dumb and ridiculous, and we were all super drunk, and it was stupid. But I remember I was I was yelling at both him and Blake, and, and those guys were yelling at each other, and I was like, fuck this, I'm going to the bar. Uh, so. I was, I was, were all I was enough. I was pissed off like enough to leave. Each other? Yeah, yeah, I was yeah, pissed yeah. enough to leave Sorry. and stand outside. It was fucking frigid cold, and I was just sitting oh, there was. Like, it was really. That's the cold. last time I was here. I it care. was frigid cold. It's like I don't care. I'm not going back there. I'm, yeah. I'm not even gonna be around these fucking assholes. <laughs> but it was, it was that point. So I've got, I've reached, I've reached that point in my life where I know I'm way too fucked up to be in a bar. Yeah. And I would probably do nothing but embarrass myself. Or them, or whomever, like, because you'd introduce, you say there's a bunch of people that we might know. I'm like, hey, it's my buddy Matthias, it's Andy Rise, but blah, 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 Because <laughs> I was headed in that direction. Okay, so you kind of want to maintain. It was a, more or less a, a maintaining good... at least a bit of a stellar reputation and right, not, right, not some right. bumbling moron, you know? Sure, they don't, you don't want to be associated, you don't want your band to be associated with some, no. you know, some no. sloppy drunk. Okay. No. Like our music's somebody a little bit more sophisticated. Somebody goes and sees you, and they're like, "Oh, there's that douche." I, I, I did, <laughs> I did punch Scott Gherkin in the face on stage one time. Though. Yeah, I was gonna say it was you probably have. warranted. Was it? I mean, I mean, I don't know Scott. He so. does. We we are better friends now than we ever have been, and uh, it's. But yeah, we were at a frat party in. Uh, at uh, SEMO. Oh, were you in a fraternity? No. Oh, no. okay. okay. We, were, we, were just, we were just playing a frat party. Oh, you were yeah. playing. Okay, yeah. I was going to say we, we were, did just we hanging out. We were playing out. a frat party, and, you know, you have, you know you, especially when you're young, and, you know, a little too much of this, a little too much of that, and, and all of a sudden, you know, somebody's pushing somebody and whatever, and, yeah, yeah, that was... That I was, was at a frat party once, and I remember getting um, the guy, one of the guys that was uh, completely just, uh, I mean, he was messed up. Walks in, does one of these, wipes his nose, yeah. and just blood all over me. And mm. I will neither confirm nor deny being on acid <laughs> at the time. <laughs> so, um, so I'm sure that was trippy. Yeah. I'm not. Yeah. I'm not confirming nor denying. Like little gravity bubbles. But it was just kind of like, <laughs> what the fuck is that? <laughs> so time to go. When you're fighting at this frat party. Yeah. Did the frat come up on stage and break it up? At what, no, what? so it wasn't really yeah. much of a fight. I mean, he he doesn't remember. He knocked over your mic stand? No, he doesn't remember, but he, he shoved me in the back twice, and I almost fell off the stage, so I turned around, oh. and I, I punched him in. And then I didn't want to fight him because he's in my band, and we had, like, a lot of girlfriends there. And, yeah. You know, it was just, like, this whole mess. And, it, like, so I just went off to be by myself, and then, he, you know, he came to and kind of, and he wanted to finish it because he didn't know what the hell happened. He just knew that I punched him, and um, and then uh, it just it all went downhill. It went. <laughs> well, it's we, a but, it's a good memory. It's a good story. Well, I tell you what, we we remained uh, unbelievably. Uh, we remained in a band together for another ten years after that. You yeah. know, and uh, like I said, you know, we're we're better friends today than we. have Oh, so he's not the easiest guy to be in a band with. Sometimes. I can't imagine. Sometimes. <laughs> he's no. very opinionated. So you imagine know what? three opinionated people. That is I am not. <laughs> Those are band dynamics, though. Yeah, I mean, yeah. what yeah. band do you know? I mean, so, you know, my, my husband uh, was in a band. His lead guitarist, lead singer, um, started to get in his face. I punched him. <laughs> so, I mean, it's... <laughs> You, this shit happens. I've met, it happens. I've met, I've met many punchable lead singers. I bet. <laughs> Never. Oh, I bet. Which one of you guys is and the then, lead singer? He wasn't talking about me. No, I wasn't. I was, no, I no, saw no, the no. Face. I was, no, I was wondering. <laughs> no, with, <laughs> but that would be a bit, even better dynamic. Oh, but it is me. It is I, me. I, okay, yeah. it is you. Yeah. Okay, I didn't yeah. know if Blake was voice. like Phil yeah. Collins or oh, Don Henley. No. Or, okay. No. Does Blake sing? Is Blake going to listen? I don't even know. <laughs> we is. don't want him to. We turn off his mic. Yeah. Uh, yes, he, he he's does. All, he's he can. Down in he can. He's done yeah, he I was wondering where he was. He I was sing. like, well, he is can he sing. too good to be here? Or? We've worked on um, a couple different rehearsals when we're doing this live because we're it's a three piece, but there's a lot of shit going on. There's a lot of layers. It's what yeah. I love to do. Um, doing it live, I think musically we're fine. Vocally, he's he's gonna sing, yeah. but. There's a lot that he's got to work out with his, with his drumming and singing yeah. some of the harmonies on this stuff. A lot we all right. got to work out. Well, well he's yeah, still in drum lessons, too. right? Yeah, he's he's okay. still learning how okay. to play. Okay, good for him. This though. is way too wow. big for him. Oh no, no, I didn't um, think this was his. I thought we set this up for Blake to go practice. Oh, you know uh, what? That would have been nice if he would have actually made it out here. Right. 
That's right. Um, I think the drum kit was too big. He, he just didn't like it. It's okay. It's okay. You know what? We, we take the, the baby stuff. Sure. Sure. I just use pots and pans. Yeah. Um, yeah, he, he paid a lot for that Webster degree. <laughs> he's, he's a drawer. He's a great drummer. He's he a, is a great drummer. He's a drawer. Yeah. A draw. He's a, a drawer. A drawer. A drawer. Yeah. No, I will be paying my student loans up. You're a towel. Until... <laughs> You're a towel. You're a towel. Oh, that must be an inside joke. No, 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 no. But Blake, Blake is Blake is awesome. He's a, he's a fantastic drummer, and and you know we, we need to boost his ego a little bit. He you, you know, know what? He brings and a lot to the band. I I met Blake when I did a photo shoot for Cunning Stunts. Yeah. Um, yeah. That was fun. That was another project with Scott and our friend Will. Yep. And Blake, and you guys play covers from the '90s, correct? I mean, multiple. But I mean, there it's good. It's good shit. You guys I, play I like Screaming it. Trees, right? Uh, and Hum. We have. Oh, no. Have you played that? Yet. I did. I, we yeah. did it in Kingpin. What, you did Hum? No, we did Screaming, Screaming Trees. Trees. Yeah. Yeah. That, I, that's why. I, I sing, like, when we did the Queens of the Stone Age tribute, yeah. I sang Mark Lanigan's part. Okay. I, you hear it kind of baritone sure, voice. Sure, yeah, yeah. It's the bottom of my voice, so I can kind of sound a little bit like him. I love I love screaming trees. I love yeah, me too. Project, yeah, so. I have an incredible range, so I can probably I could probably sing your parts. So Do, we can just so, eliminate like I him. I said you can eliminate me. Right. I don't even need to play if you play bass or you just Do run you tracks. Play, Do you play I mean, with a pick? Do if you, you want to take go over both ways? my guitar parts? I go, I, you guys could just have the go band. I go both ways too. Honestly, oh my god. I could not play an instrument. I can't sing, never played an instrument, but I've always been fascinated with musicians because my dad was really into music, and that's yes. like I used to read all the liners on all the records yes. that my parents had. Yes. And that's how I yeah. got into that's music. That's because they were awesome because they yes. were all on drugs and they wrote really <laughs> cool and funny stuff. Right. Uh, you can and see. took tons of pictures. Yeah. yeah. So that's how I got into music. And then I wanted to be on the radio, so then I became a DJ. And I thought, okay, well, then that's cool. But I didn't ever play an instrument, could, can't read, can't read uh, music, nothing. I don't read I'm just fascinated by how someone can write a song, someone can play music, can sing. It's, I, like, there were even a couple times where I would be in the studio, you know, playing a song, and then you'd record yourself just to see if I could even sing. It's so embarrassing. <laughs> uh, you wouldn't even want to hear it. It's so bad. That you know, sounds like our rehearsals. I did that one time. I did that to a Paramore song, and yeah. I was like, oh, son of a bitch, that's how I sound? <laughs> yeah, that's bad. Wow. Yeah. Do you know what? Uh, do you know, like when you you go to a piano, when you don't know how to play a piano, and you just you just find like sure. a melody, yeah, and you're like, oh yeah, da -da 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 or whatever, yeah, 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 and then you hear it in your head. I mean, that's essentially the start of of creating music and being a musician. Like I picked up a guitar at a friend's house, and I was like, da da da. Uh, I know where this is going. However, <laughs> dun, dun. oh like, nice! I no, like, that was my oh my god, that was one of my first. Yeah, my actual first was Yellow Lead Better because it's three notes. But oh, I thought you were going like Smoke on the Water. Or yeah, that's exactly yeah, yeah, that's yeah. yeah. But I heard I, I I was I heard that melody and I'm like, this is fucking awesome. <laughs> yeah, I'm yeah. I'm like, I'm gonna do this. See, Purple, you know? that was like when yeah. it was released, right? Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean. Yeah, you know, uh, that long time ago. <laughs> correct, correct. When I, uh, you know, uh, nothing else matters. All open strings. Like I, you'd be like, oh no way, boom, boom. really? Yeah, like the, the main line. Okay, yeah. Oh, I could do this. Mm, right. And Jason, then you had to figure out, like, oh Jason shit, I got to put my fingers on the guitar. What do I do now? Oh, and then, and right, then you just start right. making up I your own smoke on the water, the man. Like yeah. that's it. Like you're like, yeah. okay, that's smoke on the water. No, I'm gonna make. Smoke not on the water, you know, and you're <laughs> right. like, dun, dun, yeah. dun, mine was 20. Dun, 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 another one, dun, dun, dun. 25 <laughs> or 64 by Chicago. Yeah. Yeah, great, too. <laughs> that was another one yeah. that I kind of just found, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah really. Anything Ario, anything Van Halen, yeah. you know. and then you know, like, oh, so I, I bought my first guitar when I was like 15, and then. By like 16, I had mastered Steely Dan's catalog. So oh, really? Jesus. Yeah. No. Really? No. Nope. Oh, my God. I was like, wait. I was totally no. believing you. I know. I was, too. Uh, I don't even know why. Mighty convincing. Yeah, yeah. 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 I'm never... not a guitar tech. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. I've never left you just, Missouri. When you, no. when you, when you leave right. town, you right. go to a van by the river and no, yeah. don't he surface. He wipes asses <laughs> at a nursing home, This actually. is where he knitted this shirt. Yeah, that's right. Nice. So you just have to, it's like a, it's like, what is it, 10,000 hours? You have to master it. Is that what you did? I mean, like when I was in high school, I played football and, and baseball and 
hung out with my girlfriend 24 7 so i tried to master that okay um i did i did not come home and play you know instruments so is that what you did or yeah 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 i came home and ate doritos and drank soda and played guitar my cheesy fingers uh-huh. probably got high and got high uh-huh. yeah. yeah yeah it all goes together yeah yeah i mean that the was the smorgasbord yeah. And if you start out at a young age, that's where all that love comes in and all that experience for the craft. Get down over there. We're doing important stuff. (laughs) (laughs) We're recording right now. Oh, he's... I don't think he thought we were doing that. (laughs) So we... Okay, no. I I take it back. I challenged you to music trivia. Mm. And I have to be very honest with you, Scott, when you walked in with Matthias, I was already nervous about challenging you. Um, But I'm now nervous again because I've got another music guy here. Um, So far, uh, if we count Arch City Live, which is the show, it's this show with a different name, basically. I'm undefeated. Uh Uh Uh-oh. Uh-oh. No, no, don't let that bother you. Well, okay, so I keep kind of up in my game um, in terms of my... um, She doesn't know the questions at all, by the way. No, I absolutely... No, No, I swear swear to God. I swear to God. Um, No, I I kind of, I try to up, you know, the the people who I challenge. My, the last person that I challenged was Will Pelly. Mm -hmm. And it came down to a tiebreaker. Um, And the tiebreaker was... How, um, hold on, Mick, what was the tie-breaking question um, with me and Will? It was how many dicks did Dante's girlfriend suck oh, when she oh, crossed the parking clerk's lot? That question's trivia, though, isn't it? That well, question's definitely not on here. No, it was, a, it was just a tie-breaker uh, question. So it, just, it was random. It was a random question, okay. and I got it correct. 47? 37. 37. Now you yes. got one of them there. I wouldn't even know. It was 37 uh, no, 37 dicks. was actually my first thought, and I was like, ah. Yeah. Phineas and more... Becca are fantastic oh, my. at music trivia. You know, well, and I, I can't even say enough good things about them. Um, so. They're well, wonderful people. I got 20 questions. Okay, 20. let's do this. Um, she, I, I said five, and she goes, let's do, t- let's do 10 each. Well, and, we and I thought. have the attention span for that? I didn't even, honestly, I didn't know that we were going to talk or this whiskey. long about Scott. So, <laughs> um, I said just grab 10. Um, I think we will probably do best of five at okay. this okay. point. Ready and for the first we're, we're going to phone a friend. Matthias is going to be our phone a friend. Okay. You ready for the first one? Yep. Who was the first band to advertise their album cover on a billboard? The first band to advertise their album cover on a billboard. Was it A, Creedence Clearwater Revival, B, The Beatles, C, The Doors, or D, Nirvana? I like this one. Um, um, Creedence Clearwater Revival, The Beatles, The Doors, Nirvana. Man, you know, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to say, say The Doors. You are correct. Way to doors. go. Way to go. Ready? He's on the board. I am ready. Name the rocker allegedly buried wearing a Neil Young shirt. Do you need uh, A, B, C, or D? Do you get two points for not needing the A, B, C, D? You know, I, I could give it to you. You need to handicap time. this a little bit. You, got, you, yeah. <laughs> you guys know this, don't you? I don't. A, Kurt Cobain, B, Ronnie Van Sant, C, Andrew Gold, or D, George Harrison. Rocker allegedly buried wearing a Neil Young shirt. Kurt Cobain, Ronnie Van Sant, Andrew Gold, or George Harrison. He was known for wearing the shirt and during numerous concerts. I'm going to say Kurt Cobain. Kurt Cobain? Yes. You're wrong. Uh, it's Ronnie Van Sant? It's Ronnie Van Sant. Son of a bitch. Uh, you should have phoned a friend. You said you didn't know it. <laughs> I lied. <gasps> I'm kidding. I didn't oh say I didn't God. know yes, it. Yes, you absolutely did. I, did. Can we yes. rewind? Can Roll the tape. Rewind. Roll that beautiful bean footage. I don't think I said that. You absolutely said but that. But I didn't know that. That was my guess. You may have known it after you heard the, the choices. That's okay. true. We're one nothing. Name the rocker who was kicked out of Little Richard's band for upstaging and not wearing the right clothes. Ike Turner, Bob Dylan, Jimi Hendrix, or Eric Clapton. Ike Turner, Bob Dylan, Jimi Hendrix, Eric Clapton. The rocker, rocker who was kicked out of Little Richard's band for upstaging and not wearing the right clothes. Jimi Hendrix. You're correct. Yep. All right. 
Daniel, come on, man. <laughs> Which recording artist's real name is William Bailey? This one's going to be too easy. This is Axl Rose. Yes, it is. It is Axl Rose. Yeah. The other I get is... two. I get two points, right? <laughs> there you go. Sure. That's right. So we'll we are. Uh, we're we're tied. In the song "My Life" from Billy Joel, who is the real life comedian he refers to as leaving New York for a stand up routine in L.A.? Is it Richard Lewis, Stephen Wright, Freddie Prinze, or Eddie Murphy? Richard Lewis, Stephen Wright, Freddie Prinze, Eddie Murphy. Oof. Uh, <clears throat> Stand-up routine in L.A. You can hear it, can't you? Um, yeah, I'm going through the lyrics. Um, Richard Lewis or Stephen Wright? I'm going with Stephen Wright. Stephen Wright. You're wrong. It's Richard Lewis, isn't it? It is not Stephen Wright. Who do you think it is? I'm not going to lose point, right? <laughs> no. Read those uh, one more time to me. Richard Lewis. Matthias says it's uh, Richard Lewis. I, that's who I would go for. Richard Lewis, Stephen Wright, Reddy, Freddie Penn, Prinz, or Eddie Murphy. Definitely Richard Lewis. Yes, it is. Yeah, it is. I knew it was going to be one of those two. You should have yeah. phoned a friend again. He was big at the comedy store. Apparently you're not I, our I, friend. I, I forgot I could do that. He did a stand-up routine. I'm trying to be impartial. Store. Okay. All right, the Beatles' White Album was originally called A... Altered State, The Queen's English, C, Blackbird, or D, A Doll's House. The White Album was How originally called... How do I not know this? Oh my, this Altered is embarrassing. State, Queen's English, Blackbird, A Doll's House. B. You're going with Queen's English? Yeah. You're wrong. Fuck. That's where I was my... Yes. Yeah. It is... Do you know it? No, but okay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to guess. A doll's house. Oh, God damn it. He wanted to guess. <laughs> oh, you wanted to guess. Oh, okay. I'm, oh, I'm there's Mila. Hi. I'm sorry I didn't, I didn't let you That's chance. That's okay. Chance. Okay. Name the rock album that had seven hit singles. Genesis' Visible Touch, Def Leppard's Hysteria, Aerosmith's Get a Grip, or Bon Jovi, New Jersey. Seven singles. Yep. Seven hit singles. You want to read those again? Yep. Genesis, Visible Touch, Def Leppard, Hysteria, Aerosmith's Get a Grip, or Bon Jovi, New Jersey. Hysteria. You were correct. Yep. That was, was definitely yep. my, yeah. Pour Some Sugar that on Me. That was an amazing CD. Well, Animal, um, Rocket, Women, Armageddon. Wasn't Genesis yeah. in Visible Run Touch? Run Riot was my favorite song on that CD. Uh, Visible Touch was it's the name of the album. Visible Touch. Yeah. I thought it was yeah. Invisible Touch. Does that have the name of the album. Okay. on it, too? All right. No, Su I think that was Su just Phil Collins. Oh, okay. Yeah. I got it. Okay. Never mind. You're right. Okay, here's a good one. Name the two albums released on the same day. Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band and Pet Sounds. Blood Sugar Sex Magic and Nevermind. Uh, Cold Rush of Blood uh, to the Head and Sea Change. Wait, is this mine? Yes. Oh, okay. Um, Thank fuck. So, <laughs> Cold, Cold plays A Cold Rush of the Blood to the Head and Sea Change from Beck. Um, you got Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band and Pet Sounds, or Blood Sugar Sets Magic and Nevermind. Man, I'm actually going to go Beatles and Beach Boys. B. No. Shit! B. Is B. it uh, Red Hot Chili Peppers? I and want a friend. I had you twice. I, uh, yeah. I, yeah. That was C. It was B. Ch chili Peppers was C. It was it, blood, blood. It was B. It was, it, he's right. Yeah. Blood it was sugar blood sugar sex, sex magic. magic. Yeah. No, yeah. no, I know it was blood sugar sex magic, but then when you just said that again, that was the last one you said. Let's keep uh, wasting time. Okay. <laughs> um. that, was, that was released the same date in September of uh, that's, 91. That's the one I was going to say, 91. Yeah. Okay. Wait, what's our score? I think I know, Scott's up by I, one at least. I have two. Yeah, Scott's still up by one. So you're, it's three to two. Three to two. Daniel, you ready to come back here? Uh, the, uh no, I, that was my question. Yeah, so I guess this one's fine. okay. Yeah. Name the actor actress whose uncle wrote the song "Wild Thing" for the Trogs. Do you want uh, A, B, C, and D? Please. Angelina Jolie, Tom Hanks, Colin Quinn, or Glenn Close. Mm -hmm. One more time. It's the actor, actress's uncle? Yep. Who wrote the song Wild Thing for the Trogs. The act. Okay. Say so again the, the, the choices. Angelina Jolie, Tom Hanks, Colin Quinn, or Glenn Close? Uh, 
it's, it's not a her dad was the John Voight guy. Right. Uh, he is John Voight, but we're looking for the uncle. Oh, the uncle. Yeah, yeah. you said that's right. Okay. Uh, okay. Angelina Jolie. Tom Hanks. Tom Hanks. Colin Quinn. Colin, Colin Quinn. Quinn. Glenn Close. Glenn Close. Who allegedly knows the word to the butt. Okay, so <laughs> doing the butt. Who wrote? What's the question one more time? Uh, the actor or actress's uncle who sexy, wrote sexy. the song "Wild Thing" for the Trogs. Okay, that's gonna. I'm gonna say that it wouldn't be Colin Quinn because I think he's too young. Maybe. We don't know. Yeah, it doesn't matter about an uncle. Well, I think he's the oldest of that. One of the oldest in that group. Yeah, Colin he, Quinn's he, he, older than Tom Hanks. I think about the same, same age. age. Yeah, they look the same age. Yeah, I think maybe Glenn Close is too old. So, Angelina Jolie. Right, right. Yeah. Let's go with. I don't know why I'm feeling this. It's probably wrong, but I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say Colin Quinn. Angelina Jolie. I was gonna say Angelina Jolie. I, had it. I, had it. I, had it. I was gonna I know, say it. I, I was gonna say Angelina. Okay, okay. Still, John, John so Boyd was in Hollywood back in the time. Like I knew that he ran in that circle. I'm sure mm-hmm. his. Right. I'm sure his brother was some sort of writer. Yeah, his brother's name is Chip Taylor. Fuck but, you, Chip. <laughs> yeah, originally it's Chip. I'm wearing Voigt. my pee pants right now, Chip. Yeah. <laughs> I'm all hopped up on Mountain Dew, Chip. <laughs> I'll whoop your ass. <laughs> name the band kicked out of its own record release party for throwing food. The Beatles, Guns N' Roses, Metallica, or Nirvana? That's for you. Yeah, yeah. say it again. Name the band kicked out of its own record release party for throwing food. The Beatles, Guns N' Roses, Metallica, or Nirvana? Beatles. No. Okay, oh, son man. of a bitch. Would you Guns. like to steal that? I mean, it's, it's, yeah, you know, it's probably Nirvana. It's Nirvana. Uh, I'm going to say it's Guns, man. It's they Nirvana. Were, it's it was Nirvana. Nirvana. Really? Yeah, it's Nirvana. I yeah. thought they would have um, I think, done much bigger things. Than I think the Guns question fight. was to throw you off. Thinking that's absolutely something that guns would do. <laughs> well, yeah, something they would do. But uh, you know, yeah. Nirvana. Nirvana Back was then, like yeah. like Nirvana. Nirvana smashed their perform their gear on well, MTV I was thinking, music, movie I awards. Instantly yeah. I instantly thought of Led Zeppelin probably, and yeah, yeah, the What a better TV story. debut than smashing all of your shit. I wanna, I'm gonna remember to phone a friend. Okay. All right. So. So it's still three two. It's three two. It's three two. And that's been ten questions. That's been ten questions. Yeah, half of them right, half of them. She's is, trying yeah. to angle so she doesn't lose here. No, so no, no. I'm, no. I'm trying doing. to think if we've it. You that was yours. You went first. I have to answer. Let's he make. He tried to steal it from you. So it's his turn now. Oh, okay. So if he gets okay. this question right, it's over. Yes. Okay. 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 Ready? Yeah. It's the band that holds the Guinness Book of World Record for the longest running international fan club. Mm. Queen, Rolling Stones, The Beatles, or Foo Fighters? No, it's not what I thought. Queen, Rolling Stones, The Beatles, Foo Fighters. I mean, this has got to be it's it's got to be one of the older bands. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's it's either the, it's got to be the Stones. I think it's the Stones. Beatles. Yeah, I'm going to I'm going to say it's the Stones. Stones? Yeah. You want to steal this one? Oh, is he wrong? He's wrong. Fuck, right. it's the Beatles. God damn it. <laughs> it wasn't the Beatles, was it? It's, it's not Queen. The Beatles. What? Wait, can Wait, you they... can you read them again to me? It's the band that holds the Guinness Book of World well, Record. But I just eliminated an, an option for it because you yes, just you did, but I can that it's steal. not the Beatles. Well, then, then, oh, then, then if you oh. Want, if well, you hey, want... thanks. You just confirmed it wasn't the Beatles because <laughs> I didn't you, hear that. If you want, we can jump to the next one. Okay, let's jump to the next one. The answer was Queen. Yeah. Okay, I was, okay. So we were right, at least it was one of the older bands. Okay, Van Halen's original band name was Van Dokken, the Red Devils, <laughs> for unlawful carnal knowledge, or Mammoth. Van, is this for mine? Is Van this for me? Dokken. Van Dokken. Van Dokken. Come yeah, on, Van, this is easy. Is this for me? Yeah. Oh, this is way too easy. What was the last Van one? Van Halen's original band name was Van Dokken, the Red Devils, for unlawful carnal knowledge, or Mammoth. I'm going to phone a friend. I know it's one of two options. Yeah, I know. This would be for a tie. There's so much pressure here. I'm going to say... Van Dokken, the Red Devils. You're going to say D, but I can choose whether or not I want to take his. Yeah, I'm going to go Red Devils. 
God! Yeah, I oh my it. god! I mean, how can oh you my not? God. Wolf, Wolf oh my Van god. Halen, they just released this new shit. It's called Mammoth WVH. Uh -huh. Wolf Van Halen. It was, it's, yep. it's Mammoth. Oh my god! Oh, how do you not know that? Cool! Oh! Yes! Bro! How do you not know? No longer on the I came up with the question. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh, I knew Scott was gonna beat me. Oh man, I'm shit. so sorry, Dania. Oh, Scott got gotcha. you. Well, yeah. congratulations. Thank you. What do There's I... a question mark at the end of that. Congratulations. I, I didn't know that would happen, but hey, that's cool. So congratulations. I didn't expect it to happen either, so we do not have a prize for you. But I <laughs> offer of you, yeah, I offer you um, my deepest congratulations. <laughs> yeah. And if you can grab me one more, I'm empty. Um, Thank you guys for being here. Thank you. This was Thanks. a free. This was a blast. Yeah. I think we could probably jaw all day, um, but I definitely want to share with you their brand new video, which is absolutely killer, especially for some local band. Yeah, no, no, I'm kidding. No, legit, absolutely killer video. Um, if you, Matthias, could um, tell us the name of the video and take us to it. Yeah, uh, name of the video and first, well, I guess the fourth single, but the first proper single off of the uh, uh, self-entitled will be the name of the album. Okay. Coming out this summer. It's called Afraid of the World. Afraid of the World. Yeah. It's, a, it's a great song. It's an amazing video. We're going to show it to you here. Uh, join us next week. We are going to talk to Mila Ray Duffy. She is a trans person. We're going to talk about a day in the life, or actually... We're gonna go deeper than that. We're gonna go. We're gonna talk about the life of a trans person. Um, she's an she's a phenomenal human being, and I can't wait to have her on here. Um, so here we go. This is and they rise. Afraid of the world. Afraid of the world. Just for you. See you next time.